Files here with episode number 18. I'm calling this one, What Else is Going On? What Else is Going On? All right, I've got a mail call for you. I've got a few tips that I learned the hard way. And then I've got a few pickups that I wanted to show you that I got here recently. But before we get into it, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Send the video to a friend. I really appreciate everybody's support. I really do enjoy doing this. And I thank all you guys for supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. All right. A mail call. Patriotic Stacker. Check that out. I really believe that he has one of the best stickers in the community, in my opinion. I mean, it's got everything. He's got an eagle. He's got the coins down there, the red, white, and blue. I mean, it's the epitome of being patriotic. It is a good looking sticker. So I got a place for him. He's going to go right there on my sticker board, which is growing. Thanks, everybody. Um, so Patriotic Stacker, he also sent me a Roosevelt dime. I really appreciate that, buddy. Um, tip number one, it's kind of an unwritten rule that if you're going to send a stacker or something, a sticker or a letter to put a little bit of silver in there you know maybe a uh, a dime or a silver quarter or you know a silver half or something it's just kind of a protocol to put a little bit of silver in there and um, when I sent my sticker to patriotic I wasn't quite aware of that practice yet so uh, my bad patriotic i'm gonna get you something coming pretty soon forgive me being a rookie um but i really do appreciate your sticker and your dime and i'm honored for your sticker to be on my board so thank you very much sir all right tip number two speaking of, about mailing people coins i suggest Take a little time and take a few extra steps when you are packaging these coins and putting them in the mail. I sent a uh, channel sticker to oh God, dang it, Silver Scrounger the other day. Silver Scrounger. And uh, I had sent him my channel sticker and I also sent him two Standing Liberty Quarters and a Mercury Dime. And I had uh, placed them. They were in the uh, flips, just like this. You know, stapled one, two, three times. And I had put them in a regular envelope. And I just figured, hey, with uh, them being in the flips and being in a sealed envelope, that they were secure. Well, he gets the letter and he's uh, opening it on camera and he starts pulling out empty flips. Yep, they have the date on them. They say what they are, but he's pulling them out and, and they're empty. And <laughs> and he's all like, uh, hey, Mississippi Metals, what's going on here? What's the deal? Sending me empty flips. And um, so apparently... They had gotten out of the flips and out of the envelope somewhere between here and his destination. So take a little extra precaution when you are sending out coins to people in the mail. And whatever you do, do not go watch that video to save me any further embarrassment. Just kidding. I'll put a link down in the description below so you can go check that out if you want to. All right. Pickups. I have gotten a few things. Now, I told you guys in my last video that I was done with silver 
and that I was just going to focus on gold. Well, that turns out to be a lot easier said than done because I keep finding stuff that I want to pick up. I come across this vintage Englehart bar, $24. How can you not pick that up, man? So I had to uh, get that guy. Also, I was on vacation last week, and I was in beautiful Gulf Shores, Alabama. And while I'm there, I googled coin shops near me and uh, found a really cool coin shop. And they had a tray full of the Bitcoin one-ounce rounds. And they had these for $21. So I couldn't pass that up, so I picked up a few of those. And then they also had a bunch of... Uh, quarters that I needed to fill up my uh, state quarter album so went ahead and picked a few of those up I didn't spend a whole lot of money there but it was really cool just to get out and go to a different coin shop than my normal LCS so that was really fun now but I have been working on gold a little bit I did recently pick up this 1908 $2.50 Indian head. This is my first pre-33 gold. And uh, yeah, it, it's nice. I really thought it would have been a little bigger than this. I'd never actually seen one in person. Uh, just kind of going off the uh, images off the, the websites. Uh, you know, I figured it was going to be around about the size of a one-tenth ounce, but it's right on there. This is a uh, holder for a one-tenth ounce American Eagle. So, I mean, technically it does weigh just a tad bit more, has a little bit more gold in it than a one-tenth ounce coin. Um, I assume... It has numismatic value, the fact that I paid almost twice as much as I would for a one-tenth ounce coin. But, uh, you know, I'm glad to have it. It's a nice addition to my stack here, which, you know, this guy is almost filled up here. Put him right there. I mean, yeah, I'd say that's filled. That is a tube of gold right there. Glad to have that. All right, one last thing. What else is going on? Uh, I guess y'all heard that the queen died. I don't have a whole lot to say about that except for my condolences to her family, to her country, my deepest sympathies. Uh, I know one way that people are showing their respect is showing their favorite coin with her image on there. So here's mine real quick. I keep it right here on my desk at all times. This is the 2021 rectangle bar coin. Dragon proof. And uh, I just, I really like the, the image and the radial line. So rest in peace, queen. All right, guys, again, I really appreciate your support. Hit that like and subscribe button. Um, until next time, keep on stacking. I'm out.